Hey, 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 if you know Julie, you know me, you're watching me. Julie, with the Julie Show, we we're going to do our denture, adventure. My husband was like, wow, your teeth are... Okay, they cleaned my dentures. I had my one-year appointment today. Okay, hold up, hold up. Eh, this was more than I ever expected. I am not kidding. I had two assistants on me, not one, two, because one was in training. They were both very nice. And they were like, if you need anything, just come right back. I read my paperwork, and they literally are afraid of me. Okay, they said, don't even mention to her. It says on the paperwork, do not even mention this to her. <laughs> I love it. When they listen to me, finally, I'm paying for this shit. Anyways, they soft relined fine. I told her she went in to do a few adjustments, and then she said, we'll reline them. We're going to clean them, and then we'll, we'll do a soft reline. So... As you recall and remember from the beginning, you always had that excess. So now my real dentures have all that excess material. I have no adhesive in though right now. And I'm actually able to talk to you guys and keep them in. That feline material tastes like... <laughs> Alright. But I can pop them out. Just pop out the bottoms. You're always going to be able to pop out the bottoms. Do not think that you're not going to be able to pop out the bottoms. I mean, some days it's a little harder if your adhesive's in there good. I am not sure how much adhesive to put in here, but I want to show you what it looks like to have reline in the bottom. You can't really see it, but all it is is excess material to make it fit. The top one, you can see the extra material. Look at the extra material. See that? See all the extra stuff? There was a big goblet on the back. Look, look at how much thicker that is. You know how much air I was catching before? That just goes to show how that's with that being that thick. That just goes to show how much air I was actually getting. Come on, they got to go get, go get powder. Well, I did. I did get the powder. Uh-oh. Now we're going to have a problem. It's really tight over here. And I <laughs> Teeth are funny, guys. It's interesting how that one area is sucking so in. Like, it's almost too tight for my teeth Weird. So I got a reline. So now it's almost like I got a whole every reline and every time you go to the dentist, it could be something different. When you get a reline, it feels a lot different. I could already tell you that my teeth, they are over the top. They weren't over the top. They were on top before. Remember? Now I have an overbite again. They changed. They're gonna change every time I see the dentist. Now I got a soft reline, so I have a whole new pretty much set of gums. And I'm wondering why when I pulled this out and put it back in, it's tighter over here than it is over here. And it feels funny. Anyways, that's all I really have for the denture adventure. I'm in my camera, my office room, and the camera's behind me. Um, but I asked her, I did get a new Coracane. I did ask her, um, is this supposed to fall off? It's soft, the reline, fake, you know, it's just temporary material. She's like, no. And I'm over here picking at it because I can feel it on my bottoms. Eventually, it's going to probably fall off. I wash my dentures every day. I soak them. The stuff's going to crack and fall off. Um, when you go in and they make them this tight, be very careful to put in adhesive. I usually do. Uh, wait, like I didn't put any in. I want to because these feel like they're starting to fall. But if I stop talking, they won't. But I'm just saying for the first day, I try to stay away. And But I, I'm going to tell you this. There's a tip. Make sure you understand that you're much tighter when you go to put your adhesive in and powder, whatever you're using. These are much tighter now. Okay, so they have less room for adhesive. So if you overfill them, you're going to have a pretty full mouth. So I would suggest not doing that. Um, just start with a little bit. And as through the day, if you notice air holes, I mean, you can find a practice day where you just try to put in a little bit after you get a new reline. And see, like, you know, oh, am I catching air? So then later or the next day, you know, to put more adhesive here, more adhesive here. That's how I do it. Um, some people, if it hurts, we'll pull it right out and then we'll fix it right then and there with the adhesive. There are bugs everywhere. So he's my husband's feet working on my tires and he doesn't realize I'm on a video. Um, so he didn't know. So anyways, yeah, my I didn't have my teeth bite differently and all they do is take them out, clean them up, and give me a reline and now I got a whole new bite. <laughs> well, I think that we, like I said earlier, I didn't post that video. We are changing. We are growing. We're changing. Our gums are moving. Everything in our body is changing and moving at the same time. Our bodies are... Are, 
they're like machines. They're constantly working. I'm just deleting some emails with you guys on the phone. So I want to say this wasn't necessarily an unsuccessful visit, but my teeth feel a lot different. They feel secure. They're in there. They don't hurt. I should stop itching. But I will tell you this. I said hurt. As soon as I said that, these bounced up. So they are going to need an adhesive. Who would have thought that bottom dentures without any screws would need adhesive? Of course they need adhesive. Um, if I were to quit talking, though, I'd be fine. So I'm going to let you guys all go. I hope and pray that your dentures fit the way mine do. I also hope and pray you have a dentist that will take the time to listen to you and put you first and make sure your dentures fit. These assistants today, they were all about making sure my dentures fit. And they did. Um, they're a little tighter in some spots, which I think I'm going to expect. And I don't know how I'm going to brush them with the soft free line in, but I, I soft free line. <laughs> you know, babe, this is a yearly thing. You go in every year to have your soft free lines. Um, she didn't schedule my next year appointment, which is fine, but so you have them cleaned every year, just like you normally would your, your, your regular teeth, but then they took them away. And she did realize they're just tight in different spots. That's all. The bike feels good. It feels loose in here still. And it is. I don't think that's, I think that might not be fixable. You know what I'm saying? Because she was trying to push back too. Because these teeth here are tight. It's all good. This is all good. I'm proud. I'm happy with my teeth. Look at that. Look at that. Smile. Look at that. Nice, light, bright. I know I'm bragging about fake teeth, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'll go back to the pictures when my teeth were broken, when my life was just like, whatever, oh my God, my teeth are breaking, I'm in the hospitals left and right, I don't know what's wrong with me, my hair was falling out, my ex died, a lot of shit went down, but look at me now, I got my teeth, it took a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of people to go through, a lot of medical things I had to go through, but I did it. They almost told me I couldn't have teeth because of my heart condition, which I'm getting uh, low notice about it in the middle of the day. I'm going in for another catheter ablation in my heart. Might wake up with a pacemaker. <sighs> I'm going to put on some Purell. Since I was at the dentist, you never know. Been there. there was a lot of people in the waiting room there. Anyways, that's my story. I did get, I was able to get a reline, soft reline, um, it's in my real denture, so I'm a little confused about how that all works, but they're just such nice people at Aspen that I, I don't even, I don't question them. The only thing is, we didn't make the appointment for next year, I gotta make sure I'm on the schedule with them, that I continue on while I live out here with Aspen Dental. I'll probably stick with Aspen no matter what, wherever I move, because Aspens are everywhere. Because they're the ones that put them in. They're the ones that know me. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, with that being said, oh, it's zero dollars, too. Like, this is uh, on your insurance. Medicare patients do get this, this cleaning for free every year. Most people do not have to pay for their dental cleaning every year. It's free. It's kind of like an incentive for you to go get your teeth cleaned. I hope you all knew that. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Bye-bye. Go in peace.